track of Storm and Ice still continues to near the Carolina coastline. You can see it spinning around out here. It's taking a little shift to the east-northeast, and it's good news for South Carolina, though, but at least southern South Carolina, although Charleston, you're still getting rain. I know there's flooding in the city there. That flooding should end over the next three or four hours, so hold on there and go to higher ground if there's flooding there. In the meantime, the circulation is just about south of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and moving toward the northeast. Narrowing in on Wilmington, and the track, the projected track will take it on shore later this evening. Some heavy rain bands, of course, over Charleston. There was a band over Wilmington that's starting to go through. The second band is starting to form and going to come on shore as well, and that may have some tornadoes in it as closer to the circulation center. Now, as we look at it here, the water along the coast could rise as high as two to four feet locally, where the circulation makes land from the right water at five feet. Dangerous battering waves and flooding inland over the next 24 hours.